Right, okay guys, so this is a bit of an impromptu video, which is why I've decided to just do it in the front room where I'm sitting. Um, and that's because this one's quite an important one, I think. I, I think this needs highlighting. So, basically, I picked up a game from a local charity shop, and it's this one here. Tomby 2 on the PlayStation. Now, I'm just going to show you, if you look there, you can probably see that the front cover's pretty battered. It's creased up to hell, right? It does come with the manual. And that's in good condition, actually. The manual looks really good. But there is a bit of marker pen on the disc, which shouldn't be a problem. I should be able to get that off. But... When you look at the disc at the bottom, I don't know how well that's coming out there, it's, it's clean, you know, it's, it's in good nick. So, why am I pointing this out? Right, okay, quite simply. It turns out, when I picked this up from the charity shop, and I'm not going to name them because I don't think that would be fair on them. Um, initially, when I went in, I went to get this game, and then found out that they were going to take it to CEX to trade it. Well, say trade it, sell it. Um, obviously they wouldn't have been going for the voucher amount and I'm going to put that up here so you can see the amounts because this game goes for £175 in CEX and uh, I think it's, if I'm right, I think it's £113 for cash and £131 maybe on a voucher it's all, it's all going to be in a picture here anyway so quite a considerable amount so the person from the charity shop told me that they'd gone into CEX with this game along with Barbie Explorer and I think it was Pandian, Pandemonium for the PS1. Now, bearing in mind how much I've already told you that they will give for this, they offered them £15 for all three games. That's criminal, right? So, rightfully so, the person went, no, it's all right, I'll leave it, and took it back to the charity shop. Now, of course, I ended up getting this in the end because... I wasn't really looking for it, but when I heard what had happened, and obviously I knew it was worth a bit, I made a uh, donation and decided to bring it home. And I'm not going to discuss that because I don't think that's fair on the charity. So, But it, let's put it this way. It, it, I had to take into account, obviously, the inlay was creased up. It was writing on the disc. So obviously I didn't offer top weight, but I did give them a generous donation. So way more than CEX was offering, I can tell you. So... I wanted to do this video because I think this needs highlighting, you know. I've heard stories from various people, um, Retro Chef being one of them. Um, he took in a um, multi-mega to CEX and they tried to get it off him for, I think it was 150 when it should have gone for a lot more than that. And, and of course, he didn't bother. Uh, I've heard various other people that have gone in with boxed um, consoles and they're saying, oh, no, 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 we'll have to take it as unboxed because... There's a, a crease on the box or a little tear on the box. It'll be unboxed. In fact, I know somebody, and I'm not going to name them, but I know somebody that actually said, fine, if you're taking it as unboxed, they stamped on the box and then went, here you go, now it's unboxed. So <laughs> I do know somebody who actually did that to spite them, and rightfully so. Um, CEX at the moment do seem to be ripping people off, and there's no other way of putting it, really, to be honest. They're going for maximum profit. Obviously, COVID has hit a lot of businesses hard. I don't think that's any excuse for what they're doing. And I definitely don't agree with that with this game here. I mean, even the state this is in. You know, when you work it out, three games for 15 quid they were offering. So you might as well say a fiver a game. You're offering a fiver for £175 worth of game. Yes, it's not in top condition, but come on, guys. You really are taking a mick. So at this point, it's like, well, what's going on here? Are they going for maximum profit for the business? Or is this people who work there and think, oh, I'll, I'll do this under the counter, whack it on eBay, make loads of money for myself? It's one of them, isn't it? So I'm not really sure 100% what's going on here, but I thought I'd do a video just to point it out to you guys. Because this is clearly happening, and it's not just happening at one branch, it's happening all over. So yeah, I, I thought it was a pretty crappy thing for them to do, to a charity nonetheless. And um, I've just thought I'd point it out because it's wrong, isn't it? There's no other way of looking at it. It's wrong. Anyway, like I said, guys, bit of an impromptu video, short video. But I, I, this is something I feel quite passionate about. You know, if you're ripping off charities, that's really wrong, isn't it? So I just thought I'd do a quick video just to talk about it. 
Right, okay, guys, hope you've enjoyed the video. And until next time, take care, stay safe. Nerdy Geezer out.